I'm David from Wargaming Old Guys, and I've done something specifically I said I wouldn't do, and that's buy more Brits for my Conflict 47, and I have. I bought the British anti-tank gun from Warlord Games, so let's have a look and see what's inside. So here we are, the British AT gun. Um, this was from the recent Warlord sale. Uh, I thought I'd uh, get it, I think it was like 50% off, so I thought I'd uh, treat myself and get something new for my uh, Conflict 47 Brits. So let's open up and have a look. So it's packed for you by Stu. Thank you very much, Stu. Um, obviously you get, you get three Infantry bases and a 60 mil base for mounting your uh, gun on. I find these aren't big enough. I've printed some others which are 60 mil oval. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you when I assemble it. Uh, I haven't got one to hand at the moment. Okay, so what we've got here is, let's tip it all out. We have the actual gun itself. One, two, three gunners, and I'm assuming these are all the bits. So you've got two, I'll have to dig out the instructions for this. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll just go and find the instructions and I'll be back. Okay, I've had a look at the uh, website. Um, where they normally keep the instructions um, and I could not find any instructions for these very disappointingly now I've had to look through the pictures on the website and de de determine where things go now um, I've had a quick look and I think I've got everything so at least Stu's packed it kind of correctly so let's go into a bit more detail on the individual bits <coughs> now <coughs> let's look at the three men okay as, as you'd expect, they're quite nice sculpts. Uh, now, I don't think this this this, uh, this model is that old. So the the, the molds, the the, um, <clears throat> the tools themselves that they used to cast these won't be that old. But they've they've come out quite nicely, um, and they've got different they've got different coats on and everything like that. So they they will stand out as different from your normal artillery pieces. Because I've got I've I've got a six pounder, and the the people are a, a lot different. They're, they're the traditional British uniforms. That's that's one guy. Um, second guy. Obviously, there's three crews for this. Now there are these bit of um, flash floating around, but you expect it with metal models. Um, so it would take some sort of cleaning. I would probably reckon it's a bit of mould lines actually there as well. Yeah, a few mould lines. I would probably recommend you wash these as well before painting. Um, the nice glasses on them. But I assume that's the attempt at safety PPE, safety clothing. And then oh, is that? Oh no, they're not the same. I can't even focus. There we go. They're not the same. Uh, one's pointing without a phone in his ear and the other's pointing with a phone in his ear and with an ammo box at his foot. So, but for the detail that's on there, it's nice crisp detail um, and relatively nice models. Now, I think you can get a version of this with the heavy infantry as well, which, it, which explains why all these bits are here. <clears throat> now, obviously you have your main gun Again, there's mold lines that need clearing up, cleaning up, um, not a huge number. Um, and overall, yes, yeah, good detail. Once the model's put together, it should be quite good, quite, quite a nice model. Now, this is where it varies. Now, on the um, one with heavy infantry, you, you, it's, it's got this on it. It doesn't have the gun shield. So use that on it instead, but I'm just going to show you, so I won't be using that, I'm just going to show you the gun shield one, because that's what I'm going to be doing. You need your axle, like this. Your axle fits. There's two. Yeah, 
there we go, right that, it fits like that because it's got two grooves in the side and the claw arms fit. Now that bit there, which has got a bit of flash on for me, and a pretty bad mold line actually, that fits in there and you'll see, you'll see there there's a little indentation. Now that, the bit with the raised, the mold line for me fits in there and that is your main gun. That's how it fits together. Um, but you can tell that from all the photos on the website, but they haven't got instructions on how to do it. Now, this bit here is a energy pack that you'll, if you look on the website, you'll see that one, the guns with the heavy infantry crew, have got this on, included on one of their bases, but it's not on the British army crew. So again, an additional part, which makes me think that the only difference between the sets is the fact of the crewmen. Um, so that's the that's the main gun. That's a nice. Um, that is the gun shield. Uh, it is a bit fiddly to put together, and I would recommend super glue and accelerant to do it. You've got to clean it up. I think all these all these parts have got mold lines and a bit of flash on it, but the, the people themselves didn't seem to have a huge amount. But the gun itself seems to have come off worse for wear. A little scope, nice little detail to add to the uh, the gun. Now, if you look on the gun, there's a little, there you go, right there. And if you look at the back there, you'll see it's a little shape which slots into there. So that'll go like that. And then the gun shield has a corresponding hole to peep out the front. Yep, so if you've lined up with both of those, you're doing okay. But again, that's a small bit, reasonable detail, but still some flash and mold lines. There seems to be a lot more flash and mold lines with the metals than there do, does with the resin. Um, I, th I think they're different teams that do the both. Wheels, not really much you can say about wheels. Um, they're round got tread though the mold lines on the outside are quite bad on these so I'm gonna to have to do something about the mold lines okay so that, they're the wheels and these are the struts that come out the bottom again not bad mold lines these fit on the axle as well as the axle there's the axle um, so you'll see those two angle parts there and there's one on the other side as well there these have got little claw arms and they go on there so hopefully i haven't tried it together the the gun shield won't interfere with that um yeah so that's how that one goes and the other one goes on the other side as well so that is it um it's relatively simple easy um and I'm going to glue it together and then I'll show you what it looks like glued together. Here's the Tesla anti-tank gun assembled. Now it wasn't the hardest thing in the world to assemble, but it wasn't the easiest thing in the world to assemble. The hardest thing was the gun shield. It kept falling off after I glued everything else together. Um, I was correct in saying that there are two different fronts. There's the gun shield with the army crew that I've got, which I'll show you in a second. And there's the gun shield, well, the, the absence of a gun shield for the heavy, heavy, heavy infantry version of it. Um, overall, it just takes a bit of patience. I was correct, there were no instructions on the website. So it was more of a working out how to do it from the pictures. But apart from that, the model's good. It came with all the bases. You can see the base I've got there which is 60 mil diameter each end um, and it's elongated. I can't remember how long I've elongated it in the middle. So it fits all on the base. Um, so I'll use a 60 mil base for something else. I need, I need one for a mortar for, for a different army. So overall, it's a reasonable model and there's still huge amounts of flash and well, more mold, huge amounts of mold lines and a bit of flash, which annoys me, but you get it with metal models from any company. Uh, but apart from that, I, I, I'd still give it the thumbs up as a 
as a good addition to any British force. And these are the crew for the Tesla anti-tank gun. Now these are the army crew. I think they're quite good, quite unique, uh, big grey coats, uh, no um, heavy armour or anything like that. But um, yeah, it, it's the model that uh, looks, I, I, I like the models um, better than the heavy infantry ones. So if you've liked the video, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell so you get all uh, future notifications for all my videos. I've got a few more uh, Conflict 47 videos coming up um, and I've even got Mordor Gods Mythic um, bits coming soon as well. So stay tuned.